Hi, you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. It is great to be back with you. I've just spent about 12 days in the Netherlands and Iceland, and it's so good to be home. Even though I love that trip, it's good to be back to routine. It's good to be doing some of my favorite things again now that I've gotten back into my time zone. So just right up front, I'm showing you some of the stamp sets that I'm hoping to use for this spread. Um, the outline stamp, these, those le letter stamps were both from um, Kelly Perky. The outline was called Dalton and the other one was Miranda. And the other two stamp sets um, were from Studio Calico. This one um, came from Studio Calico and from One Little Bird as well. So thinking about using those. Then I'm pulling out uh, Allie Edwards' me-themed kit, one of her story kits. I haven't used this yet. Um, it's the first kit that I bought from her, so I was excited to get my hands on it. It's definitely, they're definitely good quality products, just so you know. I also wanted to let you be aware of, um, today is Monday, the November 21st, and so it's the week of Thanksgiving and it's the week of Black Friday. I just wanted to let you know that Studio Calico and Allie Edwards are both having are bringing back their past kits and they are for sale on their website. So if you see this and, or listen to this and get a chance to head over there, definitely do. Uh, it's such a great opportunity. Studio Calico kits are $10. And once you start looking at those kits, that is such a steal. And um, if you buy $35 worth, you get free shipping. So I would definitely check that out because those are kits that you cannot go back and purchase. Same with um, Allie Edwards. She's got uh, free shipping available too. Uh, based, uh, I think she just got free shipping. So definitely check out some of those past kits. She even has um, digital kits available for things that have uh, sold out. So um, anyways, I just wanted to let you guys be aware of that. So if you're watching this and it's well past uh, Thanksgiving, I apologize, but definitely check out their websites because they're always um, bringing those, you know, a couple times a year, I feel like they, they bring back some of their kits. So the first thing I'm doing is using this mega date, date stamp, which is also from Studio Calico. And I just have to tell you that this is absolutely one of my most favorite things that I've ever bought in the crafter world. Uh, I absolutely love this date stamp and I definitely want to use it on every spread. So uh, I think I used it in my last video. I'm using it in this video. If I use it on every spread, please do not judge me or stop watching my videos because I just, I love it. So check back to Studio Calico. I think it might be sold out, but maybe they'll do another run of that. Hopefully they do because it's really a fabulous tool. It's just a lot of fun to use. Um, so I'm pulling out the Kelly Perky Miranda stamps. I'm sorry, they're called Dalton. These are the outline stamps, they're called Dalton. And I've had these for kind of a bit, but I just recent, recently purchased the a stamp that goes on the inside. And I, uh, I've, I've, I've seen her use these. I've been waiting for them to come back in stock in her shop so definitely check uh definitely check those out as well i feel like i'm a little bit of a stamp a holic right now there's so many people that are coming out with some really fantastic stamps lately and it's so hard to not purchase them um a lot of them I, you just have to let pass by and hopefully um it'll come back around but anyway so I did go ahead and grab me those. Um, um, what you just saw me do is just did a little practicing of writing on the photo. I don't know what it is. I have a really hard time writing on photos and I've said that before. I don't know if I feel like I'm gonna make a mistake or, I mean, I know I could always reprint the photo if it's not working out, but I definitely have a hard time writing on, writing on photos. So did a little bit of practice. All right, so I am I'm wanting to add some more of those stamps. So my goal is to add them in three different places on this spread. So um, I was just doing some, a practice to see what word that I wanted to use. I was thinking of like together or relax. Um, I think I ended up going with time out. Lately, it seems like a lot of the stories that I'm wanting to tell or a lot of the things that I'm seeing in my world right now is 
really busy children. And it has been a very interesting transition from have being a mom of little kids to, you know, a mom of tweens to a mom of teenagers where they are just super busy with homework. They're just super busy with activities and then they're wanting to be busy with their friends. So it is just a different world. Like I feel like no one really talks about that, um, about that transition. And I guess all I would say to you young moms out there with little children is hold them tight. And I know that days can be long. I've been there before where you want to cry uh, because the days are long, but you never get that, you never get that time back. And so that's one of the things that I've definitely been thinking about lately is, and, and wanting to write about is just that you can't get that time back. And it can be a, kind of a lonely place to have teenagers, you know, where they're totally busy and you're like, okay, well you used to be my little buddy and now you're gone. So I definitely try and um, make that time that we can spend together. Um, and we do, we do make time. There is some family time. As you can see that one of the things that I'm talking about right here is my husband and my daughter are, are spending some time together watching something like snuggling on the couch, which is what I'm really talking about because it was really great to see because I feel like those moments are few and far between. So anyways, that's just some of the the wording that keeps um, rambling around in my head right now is just this transition into the life that we have right now. So anyway, I don't know, just something to to think about, I guess. There's probably uh, many of you out there that are in the same position I am. And like I said, no one really talks about it. No one really tells you about these transitions. You just kind of find them out um, on your own. In fact, I was talking to some people, I think they're probably in their 60s and their kids are all older and married. And they were talking about Thanksgiving and how they were completely on their own. So I thought it was really interesting that like this year they're doing Thanksgiving, like their children are all going with their spouses. So I'm like, I was thinking to myself, man, there's just a lot of transitions in life. So we really just need to appreciate where we're at, like in the moment. All right, so I've totally blown off talking about this spread, but one of the things that I was doing is just adding the stamps to the middle. I was using Lime Light, the ink from Studio Calico, and I do I do like the inks from Studio Calico. And so I was just stamping those in the middle and I was testing it out. You saw me test it out because I wanted to make, I want it to be a little askew. So I was testing it out to see how um, how that would work out before I went, you know, right onto, onto the stamp that I, you know, onto the four by six card. So I'm just adding a little bit more journaling. One thing that you can see is the card that I was working on previously. I was, I used my typewriter and I'm just not great with a typewriter. And I feel like it was a lot harder to use that three by four card on a typewriter. So I think I end up using it one other time. Um, but you can't get a lot of words out. So I did also do some hand journaling that you're seeing me do. Uh, I was hoping to do the typewriter, but there, I think I just had more that I wanted to say that I wasn't able to type out. Um, I added the date stamp to that one, which I wish I had added the date stamp to the other one, but you know, I forgot. I really like the combination of your handwriting with the stamp. So I tend to do that a lot when I add those, um, three by three photos. And I feel like I add those three by three photos a lot. I tend to add my iPhone photos a little bit smaller and then my um, Canon photos, you know, as the four by six is a little bit bigger. So on this four by six, I'm doing the exact same thing. Um, I'm pulling out those Dalton stamps again and I'm going to be using it. I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did for the timeout card. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to do the placement. And I chose the word yes. I feel like I use the word yes all the time, but it definitely applies. And I needed something that was a little bit, um, a little bit smaller this, this go around. So 
Um, one thing on this layout that I don't think you saw, uh, it may, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember seeing it, but I guess I've been busy just chatting. I got like, I feel like I had a lot of issues with ink. I ended up like ink all over my hands when I was done with this, with this layout. But I mean, you know, it worked out, but uh, it was definitely kind of a mess. So I'm uh, doing a similar, I'm obviously doing the exact same thing that I did before. I'm using the same green and that green matches pretty well that title card. It's called, like I said, Limelight from Studio Calico. And I'm just, you can't really tell, you can't really see so well in the video, but it is askew a little bit. So it's, um, you know, not exactly over that space. It's just off a little bit. And I really, um, I really like the look of that. I, you know, sometimes you like something so much, like I was saying about the mega date stamp where you're like, I want to use this all the time. I kind of feel like that about <laughs> that stamp. I want to use it all the time. I just think it's uh, a really cute option. So I had to take a break. I think this is the next day. Some, I can't remember what happened, but I, I had to take a little bit of a break. And I was looking at that card that I pulled from the Allie Edwards um, kit. And I decided that I didn't want to use it. And the reason why not because I didn't like it, but there's a picture of Allie and I kind of didn't want that picture of Allie because I, I have so many of my own pictures. I figure I could do one of my own. So what I ended up doing is I pulled off the, uh, the quote that she wrote. Um, cause I got the digital version because I have this, I had the kit and I also get the stamp kit. So I was able to get the digital version. So I was able just to pull that right off and um, put it right onto my own photo. So I was grateful that um, I was able to do that. I really like adding that little bit of color down there at the bottom. And then I grabbed that mood card was from Studio Calico kit. I can't remember the exact one. I think it might have been from uh, the October one. So I was um, looking for a backing for that uh, movie ticket. And that was from, uh, let's see, Liz Tamanaha did her kit. What was it? The Everyday Kit. That came from the Everyday Kit. So right now I'm trying to decide. There's that card that says Make Believe and then the card that says Let Them Be Little. Those are both from Studio Calico. And um, I love them both. And I actually wanted to use them both. Um, I think I was leaning towards let them be little, but I really see that make believe is blue and I really wanted to add that blue. I thought it went really well with the currently. And then I found that, um, heart that kind of was the exact same blue color. So I just kind of thought it was a really great, uh, add a, it was just a really great combination. So, um, but you can see that I thought, no, I'm going to use the let them be little, but you'll see that I kind of. Uh, changed my mind on that. So I just added some journaling of some stuff that's going on. And uh, it's really great that I have my journal that I write down things that are going on during the week so that I can do a currently card that's actually current of what's going on uh, during the week. So you can see that I'm switching that out. I just really do love the that blue in the spread. And it definitely, definitely applies. All right, you guys, this is the spread for this week. I hope you're able to get some inspiration from it. If you were, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.